Hi there guys. So for my first proper video, I want to talk about one thing from Git. What is Git? Git is a version control system. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna do a deep dive into Git and its complexities in this video, that's gonna be for another time. However, there is one thing that I wish I knew back when I was first learning Git and uh, how it works uh, that I wanna share with you today to hopefully help give a bit more understanding to Git because I know it can be weird and confusing to start with, okay? That one thing that I wanna talk about is what actually makes a folder on your computer a Git repository. What is the actual checkbox or flag or thing that makes a folder a Git repository? So let's have a look. Cool, so I'm just in the terminal here. Um, I have a, inside this demo folder, I have two folders, repo and other repo. Repo is the first one that we're gonna look at today because these are two sort of uh, demo areas that I've set up. Okay, so we're now inside of repo. There is nothing inside of repo to start with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn repo, which is just a bog standard folder, into a git repository. And it's very simple. I'm gonna do a command called git space init. So you can remember it like git space initialize. I'm gonna hit enter. Immediately a couple things have happened. One, my prompt, my PS1, so my like prompt line has changed. And that's because I have a little bit of code behind the scenes that detects when I am inside of a Git repository. So immediately you can see that the git init command has made this place, this folder, a Git repository. If I just go back up a level, back to the demo folder, my prompt is back to its normal self. Okay, but if I go back into repo, the prompt changes. This code behind the scenes um, for my prompt, I'll talk about in another video probably, um, it's not for now. Anyway, what has made this folder a Git repository? Let's have a little look at what's inside the folder now. So before where there was nothing, there is now a hidden .git folder. In Unix based systems, if you have a dot in front of a file or a folder name, it is hidden. And it basically just means that you can't like see it as standard when you ls the folder. Um, you can do ls-a, which is ls all, a, all, to expose all of the things inside that folder, including the hidden items, okay? Um, and you can interact with this .git folder now as normal, so I can actually cd into it. So I'm inside that .git folder. I'm gonna ls here, there's some things. I've not made these things. Git init has made these things. There's some files and folders. And this is how Git does all of its magic inside of this hidden Git folder. And again, not gonna deep dive. That's a topic for another video and one that I'm absolutely gonna do. Um, but this .git folder, this hidden .git folder, contains all the complexities that make makes Git work. Okay, I'm just gonna go back up a level. We're back in the repo folder now and there's the .git folder, okay. That hidden .git folder is what makes a folder, a bog standard normal folder, a Git repository. Simple, okay. If I want to, for some reason, make this folder not a Git repository anymore, it's as simple as deleting that .git folder. If I delete it like I just did, you can see my prompt has returned to normal and there is no .git folder. It is no longer considered to be a Git repository. Nice. So the .git folder is what makes a folder a repository. Let's go back up a level now and let's clear the screen. Let's go into the other repo. Okay. The other repo uh, has had some stuff done to it already. Okay. Um, let me just clear the screen. Um, inside the other repo, I'm going to just do a command called git branch, which shows me all the branches of git. Again, this is sort of a git thing, so have a look yourself, but um, branches are essentially um, isolating your code base, sort of kind of making a copy of it, and you can work off in this branch and change the code and mess it all up without affecting the other branch. And then if you like what you've done in here, you can eventually bring it back together. So branches isolate copies of the code, essentially. I have two branches here. I have master, which is the default git default git branch, and I have a branch called other, okay. Inside of the master branch, there is a file called abc. If I do git checkout, git checkout other, um, and clear the screen. Um, so git checkout just lets me switch between the branches. And now I'm in the other branch, you can see the other branch has the file abc, like the master branch did, but it also has this my new file 
file as well, okay? So there's the difference. So if I go back to git, ch git checkout master, if I go back to the other branch, clear the screen and ls, you can see just the ABC file. So there's a difference there, okay? And that in itself is the power of Git, that's huge in itself, okay? But if I was to now, for some reason, again, to say, hey, I do not want this folder to be a Git repository anymore, and did the same thing I did previously, deleting the .git folder, what will happen? Well, let's have a look. So just to prove the .git folder is there, making it a Git repository, and my single file ABC, remember I'm in the master branch now. So my other file, my new file, is elsewhere, and in fact, Behind the scenes, that file is hidden deep down inside that hidden, that .git folder. It's, 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 deep, it's sort of shuffled away inside of that .git folder until I use the right commands to bring it back out, in which case it'll sort of inflate it back into my project space. So if I delete now that .git folder, making this folder not a repository anymore, I'm going to do that, and it's, got, it's now not a Git repository anymore. And what, what am I left with? I'm still, I'm only left with the ABC file. I have lost now forever that my new file, that other file that I had, I've lost it now forever. Because I deleted that hidden .git folder, my, and because I was inside of a branch that didn't have that folder incorporated into it, I've lost that file. So to summarize, if you've got a Git repository and for some reason you delete that .git folder, making it not a Git repository anymore, you will end up with the folder in the state that it is currently in, in the branch, in, in, the, in the way, in the state that it is in, in the branch that you are in before you delete it. So in that previous example, if I had changed to be into the other branch and deleted the .git folder, I could have kept both files, okay? But because I wanted to make a point, I moved into master where I only had one of the files and deleted the .git folder to prove that it's a little bit dangerous, okay? You're gonna be left with, if you delete the .git folder, you're gonna be left with the state of the folder at the moment that you deleted the .git folder. Everything else will be gone. All of the Git history and all of the logs, all of the other files and branches and folders will be gone, okay? So obviously I don't recommend deleting .git folders, but just in case to give you a bit more context and understanding of how a folder becomes a repository. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that helped and I hope that was informative. Um, please leave a like and subscribe and some comments if you want to. Let me know what else you want to see. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.